Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Brian Live. I know you are looking at me like, what is in her head? What is wrong with her head? But just keep on watching, guys, and I'll explain it all. If you are not up to date on my videos, then maybe you should go check it out. My relaxer update number 11, I explained to you guys that I look at my hair in three different sections. So today I'm going to be explaining that to you guys and letting you know what that is all about. So I'm going to just start with this front section. And this front section is just a horseshoe from temple to temple at the front of my head. This half is, this half is shorter than this half. I think it's because I cut when I came home and cut my hair I cut this part shorter than this side so um, and then also this side is thicker like my roots are very very thick over here and that causes the hair to have some type of shrinkage so um, I'm saying that that is the two factors why that side is a little longer and um, this side is a little shorter so basically guys the front of my hair grows the fastest so um, I just cut my the front of my hair about four months ago and I cut a good amount of it off because um, this was the same length as this back portion back here it was like the same length as this so um, right now it's playing catch up and I'm not going to be cutting the front of my hair anymore because it is definitely a major major plays a major factor in all of my hair I do have some layers up here in the front and as you guys can see the layers were going down like this now I'm used to all of my hair being one length so that's also something new to me guys and as you guys can see this piece is like much longer yeah that big of a difference now so. I'm gonna move into this middle section I love the middle section of my hair it's my favorite part honestly this is the middle section of my hair so um, like I said this is the strong part of my hair these are where the longest pieces of my hair is um, as you guys can see like all of this is just this is literally all one length I just love the middle of my hair as you guys can see this middle part is even it's basically the same length so when I put this horseshoe down on top of this hair that is all the same length it kind of makes up for what I'm losing on this side the fact that this side of the horseshoe is shorter than this side is always okay because this middle part covers and it's kind of acting like a barrier and it kind of fills in the spots. But just imagine how thick and full your hair would be if it was all flourishing and if it was all growing at the same length and the same rate. But as we all know, some parts of our hair grow slower than other parts. So it's just like, it's, it's a part of life guys. So just trying to do scalp massages a little bit more. So I may do like a scalp massage over in this region since I know that my hair is growing slower than this side on this horseshoe right here and then I can even break this middle part down into subsections so that's one side and that is the other so this side is slightly shorter than this side so as you guys can see this side grows is this side is longer than this side this side is longer than this side so what does that tell you guys this whole front region is shorter 
So I may want to do some more stimulate and scalp massages all on this region, just on this region right here, so that it can stimulate growth and start to grow like this side is, flourishing. My problem area is definitely my nape, guys. But sometimes it is like this back middle portion. But it's not too far off from this. So I have been working on my um, back area and it's doing really, really good as you guys can see. It's doing really good. In the back of my hair and my nape, that's where I have the um, most problems and it comes from um, thinning and I also believe I'm really, really thick and coarse back there with my new growth. So detangling and stuff is very, very hard back here. So when I have my hair straightened, it's so easy to manage back there and I do apply um, castor oil and I do um, do scalp massages and stuff back there to simulate growth so that um, I can and continue cutting off my thin ends that I do have back there. So the same applies for this front part. If I just brought this up to the front, you all would think, oh my God, her hair is so thin and just looking raggedy. But when I take down these separate parts and portions of my hair, it starts to fill in. It starts to make up for thin areas. It starts to um, camouflage a lot of flaws and um, things that you have within your hair. So like I said, in order for your whole hair to work as a unit, you want to make sure that you're treating these separate places and spaces in your head um, accordingly. I would want to pay more attention to my name. I would want to pay more attention to this side, this left side of my head. Um, and that's just what it is overall, guys. And when I say left side, the front portion left side because like I told you guys this middle area of my head is great it, it's always just been great this right side of my head has always grown and been great I've always had just issues with my nape and again like I said I think I cut this side a little shorter than this side so I just want to stimulate that hair and make sure that it's catching up with the other side I wanted to do this video so I can go in depth and go inside of my hair you you may watch videos of people on here and they just kind of they'll bring it up front they'll bring all their hair up front they won't show you the back they won't show you um where they're having issues at and like i said i want to let you guys inside of my hair so you guys can see the um flaws that i do have in order for your hair to be thick and full all of your hair has to be flourishing it all has to be growing um one side cannot be shorter than the other or the middle part cannot be shorter than the top part or the bottom it, it just can't it doesn't work like that all of your hair has to be doing really really good in order to see an overall flourishment of your hair so you just want to keep that in mind and breaking your hair up into these three sections can kind of give you a feel for what you're working on what part is shorter what's your strength part what's your weaknesses and the thing about it is people always say oh yeah when i was relaxed I had you know brittle split ends my hair wasn't thick and full and all this this and that and when I'm natural my hair is thick and it's full but when some people who are natural when they're sh when they straighten their hair they see they begin to see well this side is shorter this side is longer this side is thicker this side this side is thinner so it's just like you the naturals don't know this because their hair is all shrunk up into a big puff we relaxed ladies do know and we notice this on a daily basis because our hair has is elongated the shrinkage is elongated and we're able to see this every single day every time we relax our hair every time we straighten our hair every time we wear our hair out we're able to see our problem areas just because you're going natural does not mean that you're not going to have these issues 
so I always tell people if you do not know how to take care of your hair relax you're probably not going to be able to take care of it when it's natural and you're not going to know what you're doing so this does not apply to everybody but I just like to tell people make sure that you're listening to your hair whether it's relaxed or natural make sure you're trimming those ends whether they're relaxed or natural it's all hair you have to all treat it the same and you have to take care of it all so um, just be mindful of this guys and these three sections can also work for anybody I mean Caucasian Puerto Rican whatever you are white black relaxed natural perms um, relaxers Jerry curl whatever these three sections can really really help you guys know the strengthnesses and the weaknesses of your hair I just wanted to give this information to you guys to let you know that your hair works as a unit and that you have to treat it as such and sometimes you have to break your hair up to see where your um you may need some more attention and things like that so i hope this video helped you guys and i am looking a mess shall i say but it was for a good reason so i'll see you all in my next video i love you all so much bye